Hello everyone. This is Friday. It's Good Friday. And uh, this is late. It's about 8 o'clock. Dan had to work, but I uh, was running around today and and by the time uh, he got home and I cooked dinner and we ate, I'm just now getting downstairs. Uh, and we're going to do some kind of craft, but I was able to go to Michael's today, and so I'm going to show you what I got at Michael's, and also the Dollar Tree. I picked up a few things at the Dollar Tree, not many. Uh, I went to Michael's to get some more mixed mold, and I did. I bought two more of them. They were on sale, uh, half off. I had a 50% off, uh, and I used it twice, <laughs> once yesterday and once today. Uh, you can only use them uh, every day. You can't use them more than once in a day. So, um, I ordered for a store pickup yesterday, and then I ordered a store pickup for today. And then we went to pick them both up, and then I went shopping inside the store. Uh, it was gorgeous out here today. Sunny, warm. I think the high was 73. Uh... And so I just wanted to get out of the house. And so uh, I went with John and Ashley and we went to Michael's and uh, I had a really good time. And before we get started, I keep forgetting this, but I need to do it. For all of y'all that are new, that, that have never been here before, welcome. My name is Beth and I am so glad that you're here. For all of my subscribers or for those that have been here many times before, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, we are going to get started. Let's do the, the Dollar Tree one. That's not the exciting one. So let's do the Dollar Tree one first. I have stuff coming in from Amazon, too. Oh, and I have another order from uh, Timu that's supposed to be here on Sunday. I don't think it's going to get... I hope no one delivers anything on Easter Sunday. I would hope that they were able to be at home with their families. That's going to make me feel bad, but it's scheduled to be here on Sunday. Uh, I ordered it <coughs> yesterday. And uh, it's three things, and right now I couldn't tell you what they are. <laughs> oh, yes. One of them is a um, uh, silicone rubber. Uh, because I want to make these molds. And that's what made me think of it. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. And... I want you to look at these. I, I got them to... I'm hoping that clicking is my phone. Somebody asked me if I had a fire... Uh, a smoke detector down here. Evidently, something was beeping. Uh, I don't know what it is. I've got my alarm set, so it doesn't beep anymore. That's the only thing down here that would beep. Uh, but anyway, I got these. They are smooth on the inside. All this is on the outside. And I got these because I thought these would be the perfect thing to mold those little figurines that I got. And I don't know what I did with them. Oh, oh, they're in here. Okay. They're still in the same room, so I don't have to go anywhere. So, I'm hoping they'll fit. But I'm going to bring them over. Oh, it might be. They may be too small. Oh, poo hiss. That is not tall enough. <gasps> that will work. Oh, do you see that? Oh, that most definitely will work for that. Not a whole lot of room, but enough room. I think that's enough room. Not a lot of waste. I may put a crystal or something there, so I'm not wasting it. Uh, oh, that would work too. I had to lift it up. Oh, yeah. See, those two. So I didn't waste it. I think this is going to be too big. Yeah, that's too big. That's touching. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to get one of these done. Rose's dog, a uh, little Bella. She said that looked like her dog, and I was going to do her one. But these two, I can do, I can use two for those two right there. And I'll have, this would work if it was just a little bit taller. 
color. And I mean, I could probably put tape around it and make that one work. Because it's not, it's maybe an eighth of an inch too short. But of course you'd want it a little bit. Uh, but I am tempted to get some of that aluminum foil tape that I've got and put right there and use that because it's perfect for the base. So, we'll see. But that is the main reason why I got those. And let me put this over here. I think I've got anything small. You know, I've been wanting to make a mold out of this too. Is it still over here? It is a glass candle holder that I've had out here somewhere, and now I can't. I can't find it now. What did I do with it? Oh, that's great. Now I can't find it. It was that crystal. I bet it would work. I bet that would work for that. And now I can't find it. Now, see, that's how it goes for me. Let's see if I put it in here. Let's just see if this works. Because I may be going out and buying more. Oh, and it does. Mm. This could be awfully thin right there. But if I do it that way. Yep, I think I can make this work. Yep. Okay. So, that, that, was, that was a good thing. All three of them cost me a dollar and a quarter. And then I was almost out of popsicle sticks. And so I got more popsicle sticks. And these are not quite as wide. Yes, they are. They're the same thing. And then, you know those antibacterial wipes? I bought two of the popsicle stick thing. They didn't have them, they didn't have these in the canisters, you know, with the aloe and the vitamin E. But this is the same thing with aloe and vitamin E. And it's just, it's in this right here. Where you do it that way. And get them out that way. And I thought, well, this is actually better anyway, because I could put one in the car. And so I got I got five of these. They were a dollar and a quarter because I really, really like them. I like the way they make my hands feel afterwards. And um, so, yep, I got five more of those. And then I got matches because you, you remember when I made that... Uh, let me. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah. Oh, cool, y'all. A surprise. We get to do an AliExpress mold haul, too. Ashley just brought it down to me. Woohoo! But you remember when I did the, um, the candle holder that had the side that you kept the matches? I think these are going to be too big. But I got these because I have to, so I'm going to be making more of those. And uh, what I'm planning on doing is actually cutting off I can get it. Actually cutting off 
part of that. And that's the strip that lights the matches. And I'm going to put it on somewhere. And those would sit. And I'll show you. Let me go get the candle real quick. It's right in here. Okay. And I don't know if I'm going to include the matches. I probably will, but they won't be loose. I'll probably put them in like a little baggie or something. Uh, wow, these are not all straight in the... And they're green. They're not red. But I'm not going to sit here and take the time to... Uh, sort them out but that's the way it goes you know you put the matches right here and it doesn't take a whole lot and I would have enough to fill up many of these and the same thing with that and I'm thinking about just putting a uh, a piece like maybe right here because it's just brown. And that way you have something to strike it with to uh, do the candle. So that's the reason why I got those. Okay. On to the fun stuff from Michael's. Yeah, that was it. That's the only thing I got from the Dollar Tree. Michael's I had fun in. I got 50% off of one regular item. And I've been wanting to try this. The Mod Podge Super High Shine. Not on stuff that I'm finished. I want to be able to get some of these molds that are matte to a shiny state when I pour them. So I'm going to make my own molds. And it's the, the matte ones that I really want to super shine. And so I thought I'd try this. And as nice as it's been outside, and tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny, and, and Sunday it's, I, I plan on getting a bunch of stuff and pouring that and letting it dry for a full day and then doing molds. So this would have normally been $14.99, and I paid $7.49 for it. And then I got glitter. I did. And this is ultra fine glitter. See that color? I love that color. That's that blue green color. That is a pretty, pretty chill color. And then look at that. And this is just the, the Creology extra fine glitter. And these were $3.99, but I got 20% off of the $3.99. That's just gorgeous. And then I got... This is Recollections Extra Fine Glitter in the blue. Look at that. In the teal blue. In the royal purple. Oh, look at that color. That is just gorgeous. In the green. And then I got some of this. This is $3.99 and then I got 20% off. I thought these were just cool. They look like little iridescent bubbles. That's what they reminded me of. Iridescent bubbles. Oop. There's some on the lid. Let me bring it up to t just for a second so you can see them. Do you see the iridescent? Yeah, now you can. Look at those. 
they're not beads there's not holes in them and since i'm up close i'll show you the glitter too so you can see it that almost has like a two-tone This is called Sage. That is so pretty. Oh, that's Midnight Blue. I thought that was a purple. Sure does look purple to me. And then this is a blue. This is Marine Blue. And this is called Paradise. Let's see, does that have a color? Nope. There is no color. Unless that's a color. But I don't know what that means. I don't see a color on here. Okay, I love the fact that these stack. Okay, let's move you back up. Yeah, I love the way these stack. It just gives you a lot more room. Okay, now I bought this one specifically, it's called Rainbow Tinsel. I'm going to bring you back up for a minute. You see the fire in this? I bought this specifically for a mold. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I've got to do that in this. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know what I did with it. Hmm. Okay. I got it. I'm going to put this all up through here. In the dragon part. This right here. And then this right here. There's this technique. And I have done it once before. And it's like a dragon skin almost. Uh, and Petra, I believe is her name. Uh... And I think she's from Germany. Now, I could be wrong, but I think she actually speaks German. And she does two different videos. And one is in English for us, and one is in her uh, native language, which I believe is German. And she's really good at what she does. Um, and I've done it before, and I absolutely love it. And it would look so wonderful on this. And so I'm going to, they just screamed it to me for some reason. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, the dragon mold. I mean, the minute I saw it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it inside this part right here. And then this part right here is going to be that dragon skin technique that uh, she does. Let me bring it out once. Yes, that she does in here. And I think it's going to be gorgeous. But, you know, we will see soon. But that is, that was bought specifically for that right there. And this is called Rainbow Tinsel. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. I bought some gesso. Because there's a lot of multi uh, uh, mixed media that I'm going to be doing soon. And uh, this is just easier. I could use chalk paint on most items. But gesso I know works. And uh, I make my own chalk paint. So uh, I got some of that because I didn't have any. And looky there. You see that? Yep. I finally broke. It cost me $6. But it, it is an exacto. It's all metal. It is what this thing once upon a weary long, 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 long time ago. And now I don't even know where it is. <laughs> but the one that I have been using that I keep telling you is so dull. It's the same one. Oh, here it is. But see, the Exacto has this. I mean, it is old. Well, this one's bigger. That one is. That one is bigger. But it's all metal. But I know this one's twenty years old, at least. It's probably older than that. And and it's dull. I mean, you know, I wouldn't do that with that one. But this this is just dull. And I will continue using this for certain things because it is so dull I will not do that with this one but yes I finally got me an exacto knife <clears throat> excuse me and yes I loved the rainbow effect of this it's just ultra fine glitter extra fine glitter and what I'm going to do you know I have all these little birds I gave three of them away, and it was so much fun. I just put them in my purse, and wherever I was, I'd reach in and ask the person that was in front of me if they would like a little bluebird. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing, the response I got. And, and I, that's something I'm going to continue doing. That was so much fun for me, and I will continue pouring these and making these little birds and putting them in my purse and giving them away. That was just really, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. So, what I'm going to do is, can you imagine? I'm going to make one in every one of these colors. And I'm going to keep those for myself. And I'm going to have them all lined up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. That's why I bought that. This was $4.99 before the discount of 20%. So I paid $4 for that. And could you imagine you could do the skull heads too? And I may do those next. But yeah. And then I got these because I couldn't find my magnets. And these are heavy duty. And so I just bought one pack. I know I've got a bunch of magnets, but I couldn't find them. And so I wanted to get the, the Easter magnets that I made on the refrigerator. So I bought those. These were $2 before the 20% discount. But look at here. I got so excited over this. Now I have some crystals. And I have a couple of individual crystals. But I don't have anything that looks like these. Let me show this way. You see that one? You see that molten? It even comes with those. You know, with that right there. Let me let me take you up. See that? It comes with those, but there's the little mold for those. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with those. I, I was, and yes, I paid up for these. Well, that's paying up for me. Y'all know that I'm, I, I, I'm a cheapskate. I'll, I'll admit it. Or I could say I'm frugal, but I'll just be blunt. I'm cheap. I don't like paying a whole lot of money out. 
I don't ask for a lot of money when I sell my items, so I try to get it as cheap as I can. And it would make a perfect, a perfect little pendant. And, and that part somehow fits in there. I don't know how, but they're made for that. And we may pour one of these in resin tonight, just to see. And I paid $7.99 for that. I did. Because now that's a good quality. Uh, that's thick. That it's for UV. Uh, it's made well. But I did. I, I did get twenty percent off. And then it does come with one, two, three, four of those also. <clears throat> and then I got the double one. And I paid nine ninety nine before my discount and it has two and it comes with those two these are bigger but see those are two separate which would be great for earrings two separate ones with the one for the pendant and they're all different they're not the same and I thought, oh my, yeah, and I'm going to keep these up here. I'll probably be giving these things away. <laughs> yep, y'all may wind up with the uh, uh, these. A lot of y'all may wind up with these uh, before it's over with. Because I can see, you know, having just a little bit of resin left over and pouring that. Yeah. Okay. And that was my... That was my Michael's run, and with the, the two bottles of, no, not the two bottles, the two tubs of uh, mixed to mold, which are down underneath there. I don't have to pull that out. Yeah, oh, let me pull it out. I'll pull one out. I'm not pulling both, and this is the unopened one. That's where you open it, and if you didn't know, and I'll go ahead and do this because the other one is almost empty anyway because I've seen people struggle with this you see this right here let me go down to one okay you pop it now I normally take my finger and pop it but you pop it off like that okay or twist it or do whatever it's not it's not going to stop you from doing it now but it's it's going <laughs> to it's okay there it goes and common sense would tell you well okay how do I get it off now? you you take it and you remove it from here this is where it opens that is your opening that is where you open it up right there and I'm not going to open it up. well I, I will it's in a bag where you had to remove that little tabby is where you grab it and you pull on it. And sometimes it's hard to get open. Yeah. But see, it's in a bag. Now, I always take it out of the bag. But it's in the bag. And it always comes with a scoop. Alrighty. And that's going back up underneath there. And now, we get to see my AliExpress molds. I'm so happy about them down here. Here they are. And it's not a whole lot. But it's, it's a couple of... Oh, I think this is the family. Yeah. I have... I have the... The man and the woman of these but I only had one child I 
or I lost a child, or I only had one, and I needed another one. Well, I got two of them. So now I can make three children in the parents for a family. Okay. Ooh, I forgot about that. Okay, and here's this one. We may be pouring some of these with casting powder tonight, because I want to try. I want, I want to show you the... Can you see that? Let me... Let me go up so you can see the detail. I don't know if you can see the detail better that way or not. Do you see how it's... You see the inside? Yeah, you see the... Yeah. Uh, I'm excited about that one. Oh, and I got these. I didn't really know what to expect from them. Uh, almost like a, a druzy, I guess. Insert. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can do what I wanted to now with that. I had bought this mold. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I didn't show this. I got this off of AliExpress. I don't think y'all saw this. It's just, it's solid. It was a candle mold. But you see all the little flowers? And I thought, oh, I wish I had some sort of insert, just enough to be able to put a candle in there. But if, if I did that and did it in resin... And then, that would hold the candle. That is big enough to make a, a, oh yeah. See, that is quite big enough for a candle to fit up in there. You see that? And it would be all crystallized with that candle. Oh, that would be gorgeous. We're going to have to do that. Probably not tonight, but soon. And if you don't see this on the next couple of my videos, y'all remind me. Put it in the comments. Say, Beth, don't forget about the Druzy insert and the, the candle mold. I'm going to try to set this somewhere where I don't forget it. Okay. And look at this. That's a holographic laser glitter. And I only paid like 89 cents. It's not a whole lot of glitter. But I thought, oh, I want to try that and see if I like it. Okay. Oh, this is that bigger version of the smaller candle holder. Let me show you. Like, so you have this smaller version of the candle holder that fits on this tray. Well, wow, y'all, I think that top would fit inside that we're gonna have to try that and see we're gonna have to try that and see but i got this because i got that bigger tray remember well even this tray could i do that oh yeah see even with that tray i could do the candle and there's still room for them to put their keys or earrings or a bracelet or, or, you know. But I have a bigger. I have a, oh, here it is. Yes. No, that's not the one. That's the one with the butterflies. But see, I could still do that. Let me put it back on one. See? 
So, yeah, I got that for that reason. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay, I know what this is. First, I didn't know what it was, but now I do. The lid is in the bottom. And I don't know what you call these. I'm sure there's a name. They, they call this the skull box. Um, but you see them. I, I know there's a name for it, okay? I know there is. But you can do this where it doesn't have to be gruesome, you know, where it can. And it, it has the lid. And uh, you could actually make that where it was quite lovely. It's got the rose, you know, it's got the rose and the heart and the flowers. And, and I thought, okay. And I know a lot of people like these. I'm not into skulls. I'm not. But, you know, the funny thing is, I, I keep saying this, but I love these little tiny things. I think they're the cutest things ever. Um, so, here's a piece of that chunky glitter. Um, so, yeah. I got that. And this is just a single candle holder. That's all it is. And again, for those trays where you just want just a plain candle holder, nothing special, just so you can have one candle holder. And that's all that is. And there's the other child mold that goes with the other one. There's two of them. So now I should have three of those and then the mother and the father one. Make sure that's all. And then this is the small little druzy insert. They call those? What do they call those? They don't. Resin crystal molds is what they call them. This is a little bitty one. But that one's really shiny too. And it's a little bitty. Is that yeah this is that other jar mold I just it looks like cut glass to me is it shiny it's not as shiny as I'd like but it's not dull huh we might pour this with a polyurethane resin tonight y'all and it's going to take a little bit of resin, I know. But I could paint it with alcohol inks afterwards. So it's not going to be a waste. And then the lid. Yeah. Okay. And I don't remember what's in here. And it took 11 days for me to get this. 11 days from the day that I ordered it. Oh my word. Okay. Now this is getting almost ridiculous. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Wait. Okay, y'all are... <laughs> y'all are... <laughs> 
<laughs> I really, really, really need to start looking at the sizes. Because I thought, okay, I don't have a snail. I don't have a snail mold. And I thought, well, I'll get the small one to start out with and then go to the large one. You see. <laughs> I got the small one all right. Look how little bitty tiny that thing is. Oh, my word. Can you imagine? Oh, I could use that. I could do that in UV resin. As tiny and see-through as that is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Have y'all ever seen one this tiny? That's what they call their, their small snail. <laughs> oh, good gracious. Okay. What is this one? This one does not have what it is on there, so. I don't know, y'all. This is the holy um, nativity uh, in a hut. You know, baby Jesus, Mary, Joseph, but it's in like a little tropical hut. Oh, this is a really, uh, this is a mat. It's mat, but I can do this in, in uh, mixed to mold, which we're going to be pouring that because I want y'all to see that. We'll do that tonight in mixed to mold. Uh, oh, I want to do that too. We'll, we'll see if we have time to do that. I'm going to do this with polyurethane, uh, 10 minute cure resin. And, uh, if we have time, we'll do that with the resin crate. But I definitely, no, the mixed mold. Uh, I do have some of the resin crete left, but, uh, it didn't do really good with the hedgehog, so I, I want to use the mixed mold on this. But that, that is it. <laughs> we may have to try one of those with UV resin. And maybe some of the crystals. How late are we? Oh, we're doing good. 42 minutes. I know most people would think, ooh, ooh, long video. Well, this is short for my video, so we're going to just keep on going. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the resin crate and let that be curing. Now, uh -huh. yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Look at the wonkiness. Okay, what I'm going to do, because it's so wonky, I have learned this, and I used to do this years ago, and I don't know why in the world I didn't think about it sooner, but it works when you got a wonky mold. And you got these bigger, I don't know which ones it needs to go in. I think it would work. Yes, it would work perfectly. And at least that way I know it won't fall over. And, and I can boom, boom, boom. And uh, that would be too small. And I don't want to smush it. Yeah, that would be too small. So this is the one. I'm just going to have to make sure that it's standing up straight. But I know it's not going to fall over. And we're just going to pour it and see what happens the way it is. Because it definitely is leaning. I 
It's that one right there. It's that one. This can be really wonky mold. It's top heavy. But we're going to try it. Okay. And we're going to do this in resin crepe. No, mixed mold. We're going to do these two in mixed mold. I do want to marbleize this one, I think. What I had really wanted to do was because, and I'm going to turn this inside out and show y'all. You see how it's like, I wanted to do some mica down in these and line it with some gold mica in the lines and then pour it in a different color. And I think we're going to, you know, that's what I wanted to do when I first saw this. And so I need to follow what I had planned, right? And so I'm going to pull this out. We're going to put this off to the side. We're going to put this off to the side. I could probably do this with one of those gold pens too. And I am going to have to go back and clean this up a little bit. Maybe a whole lot, but I think because of the depth, I think I'm going to be able to use tape in a lot of this. I'm going to try anyway. If I take it all off, then... I got light glaring at me, so I can't really tell if I'm getting it in the right spot, and I know I'm not, because I see it now. I know, it looks really messy right now, y'all. I know. Tape may end up taking the majority of it off. I don't know.
That's my phone clicking. Somebody's leaving me messages or something. Our Facebook group is growing good. We've had several new members this week. Some are from YouTube, but some are from Facebook. And it's exciting to watch it grow. Everybody over there is so welcoming. And, and I, I am so thankful. We have such a good group of people over there. They're just friendly and sweet. We don't have rudeness in our group. We do, We would not tolerate that. Uh, the first person who is rude would be uh, gone. We just we just don't do that. And so far, we've not had anybody. We had one person that tried to tell me how it should be. and She is no longer in the Facebook group. <laughs> uh, she thought she was above the group rules. We all have to abide by them. And the group rules are just to be kind, not to be rude. So, ha <laughs> ha ha! That looks horrible. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Oh, I don't want that tape. I don't think I don't think this tape does as good, but we'll try it since it's the uh, the tape I picked up. But I don't think this is going to do as good as the clear packing tape. Don't think it does. But we're fixing to find out. Does it? Oh, wow. You see where it took all that off? Oh, my word. I wonder if you could put that back on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, I am doing this. I just want to know, okay? Nope. It does not go back on. Okay. Oh, it's taking a bunch of it off, but is it taking it off where it needs to go? I want it to stay in the lines. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. get this off of here. Okay, is that taken? Oh, it is. Okay, it's taken that off. okay with that. I like stuff that looks old and worn and and that should do it. So and it didn't take a, a lot of time. I'm gonna get a baby wipe and do this real quick to get it off of here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, it is what it is. We're going to put casting. Compound in there anyway, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot. This gold is... It's from Timu, and boy, it's good. The gold, the silver, the copper... It goes on really, really well. And I'd really like to brush that with mica, but... Hmm. No, we're gonna do that in a brown. Yeah, y'all know I do a lot of casting stuff in browns. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do these and hope this one works. This was only $2.45 for this uh, hut mold. So if it doesn't work, I know some people think, well, that's Christmas Eve, but I, don't, I, I think that can be all year long. That's just my personal thing, but... Okay, so we're going to get to going on this, and I am looking for my water. What I do is, oh, it's right there, right smack in front of me, y'all. My water is right there. We're going to get some in this paper cup. Y'all have seen me do this enough. I'm probably bored with these videos where I do this. Uh... And let me use, I'll use this. Okay. And yes, we're using, oh, do I have any of the brown? Let me look in my colors over here. I have the jujube red. I don't have one brown. That is so odd. Do I have an orange? Hmm. No, okay. We're going to use Resin Crete's Brown. And then I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. And this is the Team Moo's Golden Yellow. That was a bunch. I'm going to get a popsicle stick out. Let me mix this up. Okay. And just to let you know, that is not the mixed mold. That is the smell from the pigments that's exactly what that smell is coming from and it stinks
No, I don't have my gloves on, and I probably should. Oh, poo hiss. Let's move that out of the way. I don't want to get any of that on there. Yeah, that that pigment coloring, and I don't know if it's the resin crete or the teamy one, but one of them stinks bad. And I've noticed that, but I couldn't figure out what. But I'm going to say it's the J. Diction resin crete pigment because that's, I smelt it the last time I used the brown, and it was, I didn't use any of the teamy yellow in that one. And it does stink. And see, so I don't have that chocolate milk brown. I have more of a... Uh, and I'm, I'm going to shake this because it's got that little thing in the bottom. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pick it up. Even as flimsy as this. Could you see the top right there? You see that? I'm squeezing that because I want that to get down in there. And there are bubbles popping up. I want them to get a chance to come up. I'm holding on to it. And I'm doing the shimmy shimmy shake to the outer glass while holding on to the mold that's on the inside of the glass. And you can see those bubbles. Hmm. Okay, what I was planning on doing that's holding it up because it's level on the top there so I think that's gonna work Oh, wow. Should I do this now? I don't think I have enough. Let's see. How oh, I do have enough to do the snail. Okay. Let, let me push it. I don't think it's going to get down in these little antenna things. I don't think it's going to get down in there. Yeah, I'm 
pushing it open. But I don't think that they're going to come out if I get it down in there because I'm having to really push to get anything to even go down in there. going down in there at all. Huh. Oh no, <laughs> it has, oop, it has gotten hard. Wow, nothing like scraping out the the glass to get every little bit. Oh, that's already okay. I can't do that. Okay, good enough. Okay, that's going to go over there. We're going to move that over there. We're going to move this right here. We're going to get another cup. Look, I keep hitting things. I am wiping my hands off with one of these. wipes okay I'm gonna get another cup and this time I want to use I want to use something different I want to use a different color uh, I think I want to use It's a vivid blue. Do the jade blue. Do the jade blue. And the pink. I don't know. The jade blue. Let's just go with the jade blue, I think. I think. I 
I'm looking at the resin creeps colors up there. Yeah, let's go with the jade blue. Let's see how dark we can get the jade blue. And this is a Timu color that we're using this time. There's a gnat flying around. Oh, here comes the weather. Let me shake this up really good before I open it up. Okay. Stick. Oh, that's not going to stay that way, but oh, that's a pretty blue. I know it's probably not going to show up, but we're going to try it anyway. This is alcohol ink, so this may not be a good... Why is it not coming out? Is it coming out and I just don't know it? No, it's not mixing up. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, let's try this. That's a pretty blue. Got to see something real quick. I got to just test this theory. Open popsicle stick. It's not mixing up. I probably should have put gloves on. I don't know if there's going to be a chemical reaction to this or not. It is not mixing. 
with with it at all. I'm purposely trying to make it thicker to see what happens. If I do this, am I going to ruin it? But we're going to we're going to see. I mean, it's just a jar, you know. And if you don't try, you don't know. So. Do I hope I get these cells in there? Oh, yes. I think that would be wonderful. Um, okay. Now, there are bubbles in here. Now, it didn't work with the J Diction, but it definitely works with this one. straw but you see how that group of bubbles it pops it most definitely pops those bubbles by doing this okay here we go Whoop. Oh, wow. I have way more. Way, way, way more than what I need. So, let's let's try this. Let's just see what happens in, in this. Okay, we will see what happens. Okay, that's going to be it for the casting powder. Because I do want to do that one. stuff up as I use it and I will be cleaning this up set this over here along with a little snail I didn't fill this up all the way, but that's okay, because I just want to see. And I didn't shake this at all, either. I didn't shake that one, either. So, it's probably going to have bubbles in it. 
and it is what it is. I have to get the gold and the alcohol is the only thing that will take the gold. Uh, Timu Mica powder off. Water would take the other off. But that Timu gold mica powder is some strong stuff. Okay. Oh no, how did I get blue? Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, this is why I should have wore gloves. I was going to put gloves on after this. That is that Timu colorant. Somehow it got on something and now it's getting all over me. Look at that. Yeah, I'm washing my hands off real quick. It's not really taking it off either. I'm going to have to get a brush. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to get gloves on. And this one we're just going to do in white. And if I mix up too much, then uh, I'll pour it in something else. Okay, let's see. Oh, I know it won't take that much, surely. Oh, it might. Okay. I wish they sold this in, uh, bigger bottles, this polyurethane resin. At a cheaper price, of course. <laughs> ah, let's see. Let me get a paper cup down. This is going to be a late video. Most of y'all will probably be in bed before it ever even gets uploaded. But it's okay. It's part B. I'm 
wiping it off my hands as I get it on there. This is part A. Yep, the plug's still in there. I'll use one of these stirs, I think. I'm looking for something that we can pour. I don't mind it being in white. Ooh, I think I'll do the lid to this in white if we have extra. Because then I could take the glitter UV resin and... Oh, that might be pretty. Okay. I don't think there's going to be a lot left over, but... Just to be on the safe side. And I always over-pour this for some reason. And I do not know why. And while we're waiting for that to set up, we will unmold this other stuff. Okay. Well, I don't have enough. Nope, I don't have enough. I don't have enough to do that. Okay. Let's see. Do I have enough to do a few of these shells that I didn't do last night that I, I wanted to try? Let's see if I do. Oh. Poo poo hiss. I do that every time. Okay, let's see. I don't want to waste it.
Okay. I think that is it. I'm going to try this real quick before it gets so goopy. Trying to get the majority of it off the top so it's not as difficult to get it out of the mold. And I think I succeeded in doing that. So cool. And yes, I wash it off as I go. just easier for me this way you don't have to this is just my preference now I'm gonna remove this right here for right now but I love this thing and I know it's just a simple baby's tray but it works for me And I didn't have to pay $10 for it. I paid $3 for it. So. Okay. And I did not shake or pounce or any of this. So this might... Just sitting on my... Okay. Let me wipe this off real fast because I don't want to get that. has to work tomorrow so he's already in bed oh, I didn't tell y'all I had my yearly physical and he told me my blood pressure was too high and I needed to cut the salt out which I do love salt I do uh, and I'm okay you know it was like okay and I've not salted anything. I, you know, I still eat things with salt in them. But I put the salt shaker down. I have not put salt on any of my stuff. But the funny thing is, <clears throat> and I told them, my vitamin D level has always been up and down. And I can remember years and years ago, I went and my doctor said, Wow, Beth, you don't have hardly any vitamin D in your system. And uh, I think I took one pill a week, and it was like, I don't know, it was a bunch at one time. Um, but what I didn't know is vitamin D can cause you to have high blood pressure. 
So, I don't know if that's it or not, but I have to start taking vitamin D again. My legs are doing better since he had me put, uh, start wearing the compression socks. So, that is a good thing. So, all in all, it was, it was a good report. I don't like going to the doctor. I don't know who does, really. I mean, really. Uh, there may be some out there that like to go. I've just never been one to do that. And I don't have much hopes for this. I don't have any hopes for that. Those little tiny. Maybe I should leave this in here. I think I'm going to leave this one in here. Because of the... But it didn't even get down in there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it in here. I want to give it a good fair fighting chance. So I'm, I'm going to leave it in here. Probably until in the morning. Just to see if it helps. If it breaks, I'll let you know. I'll say, well, leaving it in doesn't help. Don't use these with casting powders. And, th and that way I'll know. And that way I can tell you, right, if I take it out now, you know, we'll never know if it's because I took it out too early or not. Okay. Let's, this one I'm excited about. And I hope this one looks good. I was disappointed with the porcupine. Y'all know that though. Okay. Uh-oh. Well. That looks like there's a big old piece missing right there. We'll, we'll find out soon. I'm checking on something, y'all. Give me just a minute here. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. This mode is real flexible, so it should be real easy to get out. Nope. I think I took it out too soon, though. There's an air bubble there. Oh, but that's adorable. Oh, my word. And I can fix that. That's not an issue. Oh, I like this. I do like that mold. I'm happy with that mold. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. I'm going to have to do that in resin, too. And I, I took this out too early. Y'all know that. I mean, don't, don't take yours out as soon as I do. I do it because of the sake of the video. Leave yours in for the, at least a full hour. And you won't have the same issues as I'm having. Oh yeah, I really like that mold. Okay, I know this is going to crack. <laughs> this has not been in long enough at all. But the main reason, this is not even full, okay? The main reason I did this is I wanted to see what it would look like. You know, I put that mica in. And I marbleized it with the colorant from Timu. The jade blue is what I used in this. And I love the look. On this side, I'm going to bring you up so you can see. Can you see the, the gold flakes? Are you picking up on that? Okay, I'm going to bring you back down.
don't be surprised if this, this thing snaps because it may have been in here for 20 minutes. Wow, but it did not. Look at the sides. Oh, okay. I'm happy so far. I'll let the front be as pretty. Okay. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm very pleased with this piece. I like the way that the gold, these little, but you know that I can get these little pieces out. So I'm not worried about the little air bubbles. I didn't shake this. I'm going to bring you back up to two. I want you to see, do y'all see the little gold? It's, it's a shimmery all the way through. And that sort of like feathers out. I'll be doing that more. I'll be doing that more with Micah. I I don't have any problem with that at all. Oh, I love this mixed mold. I do. I just, I can't say enough about this. That is a gorgeous blue, y'all. That's a Timu color. Mmm. Okay. That's a definite yes. Now, this had that gold. I probably messed it up putting the gold on the lines. This is a strong, thick mold. This is not going to come out as easily. And I don't even know if this is going to roll. I don't think this is going to roll. Mm -mm. This is not going to roll. Oh, poot. Oh, that was just the bottom. Okay. Okay, I got to take it up close to me, y'all. Wee, that was just that was the overpour on the bottom, okay? So don't freak out yet. Let me put that in this cup over here. Oh, and I like this. Let's get back down, no, down to one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very very satisfied. Oh, look at the gold swirling through and going up. Okay, we're bringing you up to two again. Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm very, very happy with this piece. You even have the gold swirl on the inside. Do you see that? I'm, uh, I'm very, very pleased. Look. Look, y'all. That's wonderful. Taking you down no far. Right there. Yep. Okay, I'm setting this over here. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. It didn't take all that off. I'm going to have to clean that. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to set that over there. I'm very, very happy with this new mold. And I love that too. And I will be painting. Uh, I'll be using that as a background to make it look more realistic. But I will be adding paint to that too. And sanding it where it needs to be sanded. 
but I will have to wait. I wait two days before I do any of that. Okay. I still have that snail, but I'm not taking it out because I want to give it a, as much of a chance as possible to come out intact. Okay, are these ready to go? Let's see if I can get the film off first. Let's see if I can get the film off. My dull X-Acto knife, which is wonderful for this, because I, I know it won't cut anything because it's so dull. But it does this. Because this is such a fine layer. If I can go ahead and get it off now, it's easier. And I'm just using this dry. It is dry. There is nothing on it. It's so thin I can't even pick it up and peel it because it's just so super thin on here. There goes a piece. See, that's what I was hoping it all would do, but it's so thin through here that it, it's just not doing it. So I guess I could have sprayed alcohol. Let me try alcohol real fast. No, that's not making a difference. Okay. Good enough. Oh, how sweet are those. I'm going to just take them all out and then I'm going to show them to you. I don't like that starfish. We did that. Was it last night we did that? Oh, that one's cool. Oh, that one is cool. Okay, we're just going to get all of them out. And I'm going to bring them up. I think I got all over my glove. I do not like this one. 
don't like that one and I'm not sure about that one yet either but I love those let me bring it up to two so you can see look at the detail on that thing and that one and this one that is just wild okay I'm going to set these back over here and we're going to do the other one I didn't pour this one the other night Let's see I didn't want all this it's easier to get off on the mold And it gets all over your hands. I like that starfish a lot better. So you have that one. Yeah, this stuff, this small, thin stuff sticks to you. And it's just easier to do it on the mold, but... Let me see if I can do it one whole piece. Nope. Okay, that's not going to work. I'm just getting them all out, and then I'll hold them up just like I did with the other ones. But all that little fine little pieces of paper. Ah, uh, no, it's not paper. What is that called? <laughs> Polyurethane resin. It's so fine, it's like little thin pieces of paper. And it's sticking to everything. And I'm not getting it totally off, but I'm getting it off enough so where it's not sticking out everywhere. Okay. Okay. I have to get it back off my hands or my gloves and I will put them up here so you can see them and these are nice too I don't think see that still has those pieces on there I don't think these are as nice or as detailed as the other ones, but they're still nice. And there is a whole lot you could do with those. A lot. So we're going to set those over here. Gonna put these two pieces over here and get them out. We're gonna start with the lid. Of course, we know this is the top of the lid. There it is. I do have a couple air bubbles. I didn't shake it. Oop, let's get it off of the, yeah. Well, 
Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to do it up here. Oop, I got my shirt. Now these are the most that came from AliExpress. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm confused. That does not fit. That does not fit. Oh! <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> it's not a lid, y'all. Y'all y'all were up there saying that, weren't you? Or does it go that way? Because it doesn't really fit that way either, but that's the way it's supposed to fit. Is it supposed to go all the way down, or is it supposed to hold water? But if it holds water, you should drill it. Hmm. And I don't get an invoice or anything in the bag, so. But that's what it is. It's not the lid. It is supposed to be what goes. Uh, but that still doesn't fit really good. It was fit that way, but that doesn't make any sense. It definitely does not fit that way. I thought, oh, this is a top, but this is not this is not a top. It definitely goes in. Hmm. But it doesn't really fit. I can't tell. It sits on there okay, but what would be the purpose? Unless you did have a hole there, and if you needed a hole there, why didn't they do the? So I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But I love the, I love the design. What are we at? We're at 1 hour and 59 minutes. Okay, I was going to paint this, but I'm not going to go through that because that's going to take me a while. Uh, but you could take alcohol. Let me just, let me get one, <clears throat> one thing out and I'll show you real quick. Just one little square thing. I need to get some more alcohol in this bag. I've had these forever and a day. And they are uh, they are almost gone. I may not be able to get the lids off. Some of these have been on for so long that I can't budge them. I'm afraid these are it. Uh -uh. Oh, maybe if I heated it up with the air heat gun. Hold on just a second. No, they're not budging. They're old, y'all. Well, that one, that one did pretty good. What color is that? 
Well, there's nothing in it. Well, that's wonderful. I opened it up in an empty bottle. This was raspberry. Oh, here comes a little bit. Okay. I wanted the clover green. But I can't get it off. And with these gloves. Nope, it is not coming off. Okay, that one came off. This is aqua. That is going to be way too light. But we'll go with it since we can't get the clover green open. That's the one I wanted. But that's not the one I got. Okay, here we go. Pick up a little bit of the... I'm going to pick up a little bit. This is not dark enough to go with this. That's the problem there. It's too light. And I can't put, but I'll show you how you can decorate these really easily, actually. Okay. And we'll go to the next one, and I'll put a little bit. I got the, the point there. Yeah, we need we need a stronger we need a stronger blue. That is not strong enough. But what you do when you get it all done, then you go back with a micro brush and you clean up the edges really good. And I'm not going to go through and and do all this. And you really do need uh, a better, deeper blue. This this is not a uh, deep enough blue to really do what you want to do here. And I really wish I could get that clover blue to work and.
Let me see if I can get some of it just on the uh, from here. Oh yeah. Didn't really want the purple. And then you just keep going over and over it until you get something that you like. I don't like this one at all. And if you don't like it, that's what you do. <laughs> you just start all over again. And that clover is so old that it's not going to work. But that's basically what you do. That is my favorite. That's the first one that I started with. And I'm trying to hurry. And you don't want to hurry. And see, I'm out of, I don't have any more raspberry ink. I just had a couple of dots that I was playing with. And it's all gone. So I can't get the truth. I really wish I had a better blue. See, it's turning it purple. I don't want it purple. But then you let it dry and you just go all the way around and and you can tell the effect that you can get you can get some really 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 gorgeous effects this way and then I take one of these make sure it's clean don't use the same one and I go in and I just clean up the edges sorry this is something that's really hard to do when you're you've got it reached out but you you can clean those edges off you can get them where they're really crisp and you need to let this dry and you see my thumb just hit that right there You see what I'm talking about? And if you dry it, and you can take your heat gun, hold your ears. And then what I do, when I do this, is I go back over it with the UV resin after it dries good to seal it in to the polyurethane piece. But as you can see, if that is all the way around, that would be gorgeous. And it's not hard. Uh, I mean, you can play with it as long or as short as you want to. You can put every color. I'm just... I just pulled out 
two colors. And let me show you this. I wish I had a, a prettier blue. Uh, this is too light for raspberry. That's why I pulled the clover out, but the clover isn't working, so... Okay. Now I'm going to let it just sit there for a minute. I'm going to get a micro brush. Put a little bit of alcohol. See? Now then it becomes a different color altogether. And then it becomes lighter and not as defined. But then you you sort of tap it off. See how you got purple? Now I'm going to go back in with my brush. You see what the difference with the brush and the micro brush is? Depending on what tool you use, you're going to get a totally different look. I like that one the best. See, I'm picking up the same blue, but it's reacting different with the brush versus the micro brush. And it does the same thing if you used one of those. You get different effects depending on which tool you're using to apply the alcohol ink on. And it's going to be hard to ever get an exact uh, match. Because just like resin, alcohol ink has a mind of its own. You can control it to a certain degree, just like you can control resin to a certain degree. And that's already gotten dirty. And you don't want to be holding it out. It's far away from you when you're trying to get a straight line either. But there you go. That gives you let me let me bring it up. So you can see and it's quite pretty when you add that as an accent on a piece. And then once again You dry it. And we'll do one with the UV light just to show you 
Normally I let it dry for a couple of hours before I do this, but Okay. Let me get my UV resin. Let me get my lamp ready to go. I'm just using the top since I don't need. Let me make sure it's on. Okay. It's on, but I'm going to. Which one should I do? This is the very first one I did, so let's just do this one. And I put way too much UV resin on this. Way, way too much. And I'll be amazed if it does not run before I get it covered. It already has started running over here. I've got it up underneath the light. And normally you'd finish your piece totally before you did this, okay? Don't uh, make sure you, at least half the sides. And then don't UV resin the one on the end just like I did. Because now there's probably going to be a gap there when I go to do the next one right next to it. Start with the one like, if you're going to do that, start with that one and leave that one open until you get the one. But that's what you get. And it's quite lovely. See, I didn't bring it all the way over. But it, it does seal the UV resin in. And it's quite... Well, let's just do another one. Let's do the one right next to it to show you. You don't need that much. I keep putting way too much resin on, on here. But you got to make sure it's level. It would be nice to have something for it to stand in while you're doing this so where you're not holding it and your hand's not shaking and you're definitely not holding it out in front of you as far as I am trying to get it up underneath the camera. Okay. Oh, we didn't do those crystals. I was going to do those crystals. Good gracious. Yeah, we're at 2 hours and 20 minutes. I told y'all, this would have been a 2 hour video if I had it just stopped and not done this. But I can talk to y'all about doing stuff like this all the time. But until I do it, it just doesn't really matter, does it? So... I guess that's why the fast forward button was created for people like me who puts on long videos. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough. That gives you some kind of idea on what it's going to look like. And because this uh, mold is shiny, it looks really cool. And it gives it a total different... And it's going to be a unique piece, y'all. Because there is nobody out there in YouTube land or anywhere else that's going to be able to duplicate this. It might come close. But the, I can't even duplicate that. Because just like resin, alcohol ink has a mind of its own. 
it's it's going to create what it wants to create. You can put colors in there. You can, but you you can never duplicate uh, a piece. I know I've worked with alcohol inks for over twenty years, and and it's a gorgeous way of adding accents to pieces. And I know I haven't done much with the polyurethane with the alcohol inks, but oh, I I could spend days, months, uh, doing nothing but this. I love working with alcohol ink, but I don't have the right ones. Mine are halfway dried up. They're just so old, and I've not, I've just not replaced them yet. They are on my wish list, but that it, it's not been a priority for me. So, uh, I've been buying other things. But if y'all have alcohol ink and you've got some polyurethane. The key to this is, with alcohol ink, do not try this on a casting powder piece um, that has not been sealed. Do not try this on uh, uh, wood that has not been sealed. If it's a non-porous item, it's going to suck it up. A watercolor paper, it's just going to suck it up. It is not going to move. Um, Yupo paper, it's wonderful. Wax paper, if you want to try and have fun with it, wax paper is so much fun. I have this thing right here. Oh, is it down here or is it upstairs? It may be upstairs. Yeah, it's upstairs. It's a, it looks like a balloon with a nozzle on it and you squeeze it and it pushes air and you can blow it around which of course with something like this you're going to want to use a brush because you want to you're going to want to control it to a certain degree or a sponge or you could put the alcohol ink directly onto the applicator and put it on that way too you could put three different colors on here at the same time and sponge it and it gives okay let me just do this. I'm going to put some alcohol on this alcohol applicator. I'm going to see if I can't get the same color since I don't want to. You see what I'm doing? I just took and dotted it. Okay. Same thing with this. Whoa, okay, that's where I overpowered it. And then I'm going to take I think I got way too much alcohol on here. Okay, we're going to go over here. And now the blue. The blue is not showing up, y'all. No. The blue is not working. It's just not a strong enough color. Yeah. See, the blue's not even coming through here. It's just not a strong enough color. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm getting a strong enough color so I can show you. Oh, pinata blue. Pinata has got some good strong. Uh, let me find my pinata real quick. I'm looking for the. Okay. These are not going to be the same colors, and so it's going to be different. That's red. Well, maybe we should try the pinata and the raspberry. Okay. Let me get another applicator brush. Seriously? Okay. Come on. I don't have hardly any of this left, y'all. 
that's not going to work because I don't have it's not coming out come on just a little bit <gasps> there it goes here we go that's both colors on here you see the difference? And yes, we want to get straight lines. But, let me show you, okay, you see that, okay? Then let me show you, I'm just going to touch the tip of my brush. I'm just barely touching it. Nope, I wiped it all off, okay. Here we go. You see how it's changing? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to keep it up there. Okay. See how it changes it? Was that the one? I'm changing it again. I just want to show you. You see what I'm doing now? I'm removing some of it on purpose. I want more pink. So I'm picking up more pink. Now it's going to blend. So I'm going to blend and it turned purple because I played with it too much. But you see how bright and vivid? Make sure your applicator brush where you're cleaning that off is clean. If it's not clean, it's just going to smear. And I'm going to take that off because it doesn't really match the others. But I just wanted to show you. And I can't really. Let me see if I can do the droplets. I can't flick, I don't think. I need a toothbrush. Yeah, it's not flicking. But you can actually Nope. I can't get it enough to Nope. But you can change it and you can manipulate it depending on what you have on your tool you just have to play with this that's all I've got to tell you about alcohol inks 
Alcohol inks is one of those mediums that you sit down with and then, this is no lie, four hours later you're looking out thinking, oh my gosh, I've been sitting here for four hours doing this, not realizing that you had. That's what happened to me the first time I ever sat down with alcohol inks. And then after that, after Ashley and Alicia came in and saw what I had done with the alcohol, I'd never used them before, okay? I'd never touched them. And after they came in and they saw what I had done, they did the exact same thing. So, just play around with it. I am going to take, I am going to, Wipe this all off and see how it started drying. And you can wipe the whole thing off until you seal it. That's sealed. It's not wiping off. See? That's not wiping off because I got it sealed. But you can wipe it off until you seal it. So, okay. That is going to be it. I really wanted to. I really wanted to do one of those crystals. But. We have been doing this way too long. So the crystals will wait another day. And. Uh, we'll have something to look forward to. But that, that is going to be quite stunning. And that will be washable. You can, you can throw that in uh, a sink full of warm soapy water. Once you put UV resin on it. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher though. Alrighty, y'all. I'm not going to keep you here while I clean. Uh, I've got alcohol ink all over this place. And I think I just stained my mat. Nope. I got it off. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you learned something new or you saw something that maybe got you motivated and excited about doing a project. Uh, but I want to thank each and every one of you. I did stain my little uh, tray thing over here. That's okay. I do want to thank each and every one of you for uh, supporting my channel. It is very much appreciated. And uh, as always, I'm taking my gloves off. Woo wee! As always, uh, if you could hit the like button, uh, thumbs up button for me uh, share it to other people uh, the notification bell will allow you to know when I have a new video out the subscribe button if you've not subscribed I would love for you to do so uh, today and of course the Facebook group our Facebook group is growing we've got quite a few new members uh, this week and it's still small but we're growing and uh, that's always good. Going forward is always good, even if it's one step, step at a time. Um, I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend. This is Friday. Uh, it's Good Friday. Uh, Easter is Sunday. Uh, I will probably have a video up tomorrow. 
this is going to go up late this may not even be up until one o'clock but i plan on having another video on saturday i will not have a video on sunday easter sunday um but then i hopefully god willing i will be back on monday to do another video uh, i am trying to do a video a day but you know there's times when that's not going to happen uh and I will tell you, uh, so far we've had two secret, secret words. Um, there's been very few people who have gotten the secret words. So if you're wanting to be entered in the contest for the, um, the coasters that I made, please go back and look at the first video. You don't have to watch the first video. Just look at parts of where the video is i don't know how to explain it without giving it away and it's written right on something um so all you have to do and it will say the secret word is and the second video i do say it verbally in the video what the secret word is and Uh, the third secret word I'm going to say is compassion. Um, and, and it's because I think all the secret words that I have given subscribe, uh, sub, no, they don't, <laughs> they don't subscribe. They, <laughs> They describe the people that are in uh, my YouTube community. And that is the reason why I chose uh, the three words that I chose for my secret word. Uh, and I, I'm very blessed and I truly feel like... Uh, each and every one of you are uh, those three uh, secret words. And um, it, it means so much to me. And I want to say a big shout out. Uh, thank you. Uh, and with that, I'm going to stop yapping. And I'm going to end the video. <laughs> but please search for those secret words. I would love for everybody to get entered. And I have not asked Ashley yet about going live. Nobody, nobody, not even one person put in that they would like me to go live tomorrow on a Saturday. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I know everybody's busy, and especially on, on Easter weekend. And so I'm just going to do a, a taped video of me uh, drawing the winner. And... Uh, that will go up tomorrow. Alrighty. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you again. Have a good night. Bye-bye.